Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem here. X over 2 times X over 2 equals 2 over X. And we want to provide the complete solution to this problem here. X times X is X squared over 2 times 2 is 2 squared, right? This is still 2 over x. Okay? So at this point, we will cross multiply so that we have x times x squared equals 2 times 2 squared. If you're going to find only one solution, from here, you can even conclude that your x is equal to 2. But we want more than one solution, so because of that, we will still continue. This multiplied by this will give x to the power of 3. And it's equal to this multiplied by this is 2 to the power of 3. Okay, <clears throat> this is what we have. And now, the next step is to bring everything to one side. This is equal to zero. Mm -hmm. Some learners would say, if you bring this to this side, then there is nothing on the other side, so no need to bring in the equal sign. If you do not bring in the equal sign, you have changed what you have from an equation to an expression, right? So this equal sign and the zero must appear. So that we can now apply, um, apply what we call difference of two cubes. And it says if you have a minus b, a cube minus b cube, right? This is equal to a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay, so this is what you are going to have now some of my learners have also questioned whether this really works now let's use real number to do this and see what we're going to have imagine we have something like um, 4 to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 okay let's use this and see what we are going to have whether it will really give us what we want. Okay, so let's use this difference of two squares to work this very quickly. So we're going to have a minus b, that will be 4 minus 3. Then into a squared, that will be 4 squared. Plus a b, that will be 3 times 4. And it's 12. Plus b squared is going to be 2. Okay, 3 squared now, right? Now, if we continue, we are going to have 4 minus 3 is 1. Then multiply by 4 squared is 16 plus 12 plus 9. Okay, so let's add this very quickly. 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 plus 6 is 16. Okay, so what do we have over here? Let's go over that again. 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 plus 6 is 17. So we write 7. Then 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 2 plus the other one is 37. 37 times 1 is 37. So applying this standard, we got 37. But if we want to work on this, 4 to the power of 3 is 4 times 3. Sorry, 4 times 4 times 4. And that is 64. Minus 3 to the power of 3 is 27. Right? Now, 64 minus 27 is equally 37. So you can see that the left-hand side and the right-hand side are equal. So this right here really works perfectly. So let's apply this to do this now. Our x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 becomes x minus um, 2. Because a is x and b is 2 into a squared is going to be x squared plus a b is x times 2 and is 2x 
plus b squared is um, 2 squared and it is 4 so this is equal to 0 so from here now we are multiplying the two of them to get 0 so we can apply zero product true and that says it's either x minus 2 is 0 or x squared plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so from here now our x is equal to 0 plus 2 and our x is equal to 2. This is one of the solutions okay now to get the other solutions we'll pick this quadratic equation here x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0 and we are going to use the formula to solve it the formula says x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything is over 2a so that our x will now be in place of minus b we'll write minus 2 because x a is 1 b is 2 c is 4 okay so we have plus or minus the square root of b squared that is 2 squared minus 4 times 1 because a is 1 times uh, times 4 c is 4 this is divided by 2 times 1. Now our x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus. Then we have 2 squared which is 4 minus um, 16 all over 2. Okay, so let's finish it up here. So now we're going to have x to be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 4 minus 16 4 minus 16 is minus 12 and this is over 2 so to continue x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 12 times square root of negative 1 this is over 2 now we will continue again to get x equals minus 2 plus or minus square root of 12 is 4 times 3 times i square root of negative 1 is i this is over 2 so we will now continue again to get x equals minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 then we have root 3 times i this is over 2 right so this will go here and this will go here so if that happens x will now be minus 1 plus or minus we have 1 here, right? So 1 times i, that would be i. Then we have root 3. Okay, so this is um, a 2 in 1 solution. Let's pick, let's bring the 3 solutions together now. Before now, we got x1 to be 2. Then now we got x2 to be minus 1 plus i root 3. Then we have x3 to be equal to minus 1 minus i root 3 okay so these are the three solutions subscribe to my channel for more of this